Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the ringtone volume scheduler on your Android cell phone. If you are ready to set up your ringtone volume scheduler, simply find this app in your applications. It has a nice little icon. Just click it to launch it. Now, we get into the startup page. The application comes with three modes, office mode, launch mode, and default mode. We'll talk about default mode later. Office and launch modes are pretty straightforward. Let me use office mode as an example. It simply tells you how you want your ringtone volume to behave when you are in the office. Clicking this mode will get you into the settings of office mode. Of course, you can change the name of office mode to anything like my office mode. Start means the time to start this mode. In this case, it will probably be the time you arrive at your office. You can change the start time to be a little bit earlier if you are not as lazy as me. End time is the time to end this mode. In this case, it will be the time you leave the office. We can change it to 6 p.m. in the afternoon. OK, the next and the most important thing, the appropriate ringtone volume when you are in the office. In this demo, the maximum volume of the emulator is 7, and it may be different from your real cell phone. Don't worry about it, you guys know what the bar means. OK, now I'm going to be a nice guy to choose volume 2, so that I won't disturb others in the office. Here, you can also check this vibrate checkbox to give you vibration at the same time if a call comes in. Of course, if you check this checkbox and set the volume to 0, it will give you vibration only. You can uncheck this checkbox to disable the office mode, which means it will still be there, but it won't be going to take effect. For example, you are going to Hawaii for vacation for about two weeks, but you still need to face your boss when you come back. In this case, you don't need to delete this mode, but just need to disable it for a while. So you can choose to uncheck it before going to vacation, and when you come back, simply enable this mode so that you don't need to do all the settings again. Click the menu key on your cell phone, and you can see three menu options here. The first one will give you a choice of AM, PM mode, or 24-hour mode. Um, it's only a personal preference. Delete menu option will delete this mode completely. For example, you win a lottery and no longer need to face your boss anymore, then you can click to permanently delete this office mode. The application will kindly remind you, do you really want to do so to confirm your action? I'm sorry, maybe I should have changed this to, are you sure you really win a lottery? But anyway, in this demo, for me, I have no choice but to click cancel. The third menu option is called weekly setting. It is a very important setting. It will let you choose on which days this mode will work for the whole week. Click it and you'll go to the weekly setting page. Don't feel pain, that is the last page you will see. This page is also pretty simple. You just need to choose the days this mode will work for you. For the office mode, since most people will work only Monday through Friday, you can choose those days only. But if you are some of the unlucky guys that need to work the whole week, you may have to choose weekend days as well. Of course, I hope you will not need to do so for your office mode. I don't need to make any changes here, so I simply click the back key on the cell phone to go back. OK, since you already finished all the settings on this page, click back key again, and you will see this nice little dialog. Choose yes, and it will save the changes and go back to the previous page. Choose no means all your changes will be gone. Choose cancel, you can still stay on this page and make more changes. In this demo, I'm going to choose yes to save all my settings. Now, let's see how to add a new mode. You can always create a new mode as you need it. And here, I will create a sleep mode as example to show you. Click the red create a new mode button, similar to the office mode we just saw. The default name is new mode, and we want to change it to sleep mode this time. I often go to bed at around 10 p.m., so I change the start time to be 10 p.m. And uh, 
I often wake up around 6 a.m., so I change the end time of sleep mode to 6 a.m. Of course, I don't want any of my eggs to disturb me while I'm sleeping, so I'm going to set the ringtone volume to zero without vibration for the sleep mode. Now we need to choose which days we want this mode to take effect. I will need to click the manual button of my cell phone and go into weekly settings. Here, as default, it will work for all seven days in a week. That's what I need so I can simply go back. But if you are the kind of person that always stay late and wake up late in the weekend, then and check the weekend dates here. And you can always create another new mode, maybe called weekend sleep mode, and set the appropriate times for you. For me, it's not necessary, so I will go back by clicking the bank key of the cell phone. Click the bank key again on your cell phone, and it will remind you to save the newly created mode. Of course, we will do. Now, we are back to the startup page with the newly created mode. You can see, currently we have four modes now. They are sorted in the order of the start time. You can always choose to disable or delete any modes you want from the startup page. For example, we have a launch mode that gives you a choice of launch time ringtone volume. Time schedule for this is from noon to one o'clock in the afternoon, falling inside of your office mode. If you are a person that don't eat any lunch, you can choose to delete it by clicking the manual key and then choose delete. Another simple way to do this is within the startup page. You can press the launch mode for like 2 seconds. Then a context menu will come out to offer you options to either delete or disable the mode. Here I'm going to disable the launch mode. As you can tell, the mode becomes green now in the main startup page, so we know it will not going to take any effect. You may notice that the modes we added haven't covered all the 24 hours a day. What about the rest? I like to call the rest of the time. I'm the king time. I'm not worried about disturbing anybody or being disturbed. It's all about this blue default mode. Let's click it to go through the king time, the default mode. Here we are in the default mode page. It is even simpler. You can now change the name of the mode, no start or end time, because it works for all the rest of the times that are not defined in other modes. The app will calculate these rest of the times for you. The only setting you need to make is to choose the desired ringtone volume with or without vibration. For me, I want the volume to be the largest without vibration for all the other undefined times. After this is done, you can simply quit the default mode page. Now we are back to the startup page again. A little tired, wait, it's almost there. We are done with all the settings and now the question is, how can I let this serve me? Very simple, click the save and go button. Or you can simply choose to click the bank key on your cell phone to quit from the startup page. As you can see, the volume has been changed to zero. Why? Let's look at the status bar of, to see the notification. It's 2.54 a.m. Uh, in the morning, and according to the schedule, it's in the sleep mode, and the ringtone volume should be set to zero at this time. Next time for the volume to change will be 6 a.m. in the morning when you wake up. And that time the notification will be updated in the status bar again. Clicking it on the status bar will make it go away. If you do prefer now showing notifications for this app, go to the ringtone volume scheduler again. This time, click the manual key on your cell phone on the first startup page. As you can see, we have uh, another way to end a new mode, which we already know. The second manual option, hide notification, will give you a choice not to show notifications on the status bar anymore in the future. Click it and then click save and go. Now you can see the volume updated but no notifications on the status bar. And it will continue serving you in this non-disturbed mode. Of course, you can always change it back to show notifications by doing the similar steps.
The final two things um, I want to emphasize are what if the cell phone is out of power and I recharge it and power it up again? Don't worry, you don't need to do anything. This application will start to serve you and the ringtone volume will update automatically once your cell phone is up. Some people ask me, hey, if I get this app installed, can I still update my ringtone volume manually? Absolutely. You can still manually adjust any volume settings as you want at any time. But when it's at the time for the next RES mode to be effective, the next mode will overwrite your current manual changes. But of course, you can manually change it back again. OK, um, that's all for the demo. Please feel free to contact us for any questions anytime. Our contact information is below. You can also find us on Facebook or Twitter as well. I felt this application is very helpful for people like me who has a daily life routine. And I hope you guys will like it too. Thank you all for your time and have a great day.